data engineering, a field that is getting a lot of traction these days and create a lot of discussion about the what, why, and how this data field is doing and where it's going. In this video, I'm going to try to understand what would be the data engineering of tomorrow by looking at where we're coming from and what we are doing right now. Hi, my name is Medio, and this channel is all about data code in tech. So if you like this kind of content, please subscribe, put the notification bell, it will have a ton to the channel. All right, let's roll up. Twenty years ago, 2001. Let's put the context. Internet is booming and people start to produce some data. It's the early days of Facebook and Amazon is just starting to sell something else than books. Yes, at the beginning it was just books. Internet access starts to be quite common and 3G is barely starting. So no streaming on your favorite TV show on Netflix yet. The service doesn't exist yet. The way that company is using data is heavily relying on IT, meaning business doesn't have much freedom as it's really a technical job. Not everybody has work as a computer, which even means that if you want to send an email, well, maybe you're gonna ask the IT guy. Hello, IT. Have you tried turning it off and on again? And that sounds crazy, right? Because today, basically, a child could do it. So who are the data engineers in 2001? Well, basically a software engineer or a database administrator. There is no really heavily specific specialization as there aren't that much use case. People in company are not producing that much data. And you heard about data is the new hole. Well, let's say there wasn't just enough hole back then. So what are they doing? Well, they create starting reporting, managing servers. I mean, real servers, you know, with fan mostly working on a standalone database, which means it's not distributed, it works on a single machine. How they are working? Well, mostly through coding or some property framework that may be already dead or not really if you are a really old corporate company. And it's worth to mention that SQL was already there and heavily used. Next, here is when the things start to get really interesting. The first iPhone is out since four years, and it's a good reference to know how much data we were producing back then. Smartphones are just starting, and it takes time to get mass adoption and also just developers to make some application. People start to produce a crazy amounts of data, and 4G is happening, which came with a lot of possibilities. Yes, streaming on your favorite TV show on Netflix. Also, music, social media, with photo, video, vocal chat. So that's a lot and it's booming. We start to talk about the 3V principle of big data. The prophecy is true. They stand for volume, the size of your data, velocity, the speed at which you're gonna retrieve the data, and streaming and batch, and the variety of your data, which coming from a lot of different sources and in different form. We also talk about 4V, 4v principle and the extra V standing for veracity. So big data framework like Hadoop and Spark are just starting and they take a crazy amount of time to just getting started and maintain. Ask anyone that were managing on-premise cluster back then, it was painful. <laughs> no, I don't want to talk about it. Funny enough, a lot of companies are just trying to get their head out of the water with the same insight, same use case, but with the challenge I just mentioned. It's a completely different story when you have a single machine and now you need to handle thousands of gigabytes. Yes, I said gigabytes. The average size of a hard drive on a server back then was 500 gigabytes. So who are the data engineering in 2011? Business intelligence people or ETL developers that are mostly using proprietary frameworks to UI, so mostly click like Microsoft SSIS, Talent, or whatsoever. And there is a big data engineer, a new kid in town. This one is all about distributing system and parallel processing. So he's using all the, the big data frameworks I was just mentioning, Hadoop, Spark, and so on. There's also the data analyst, which is uh, starting to pop up, which is mostly doing SQL. But remember, Tableau or click like self-service a dashboarding tool are not there yet. So basically, the job starts to split a bit more as there is more use case and we cannot have 
a one-man army. So what are they doing? They provide data in different mode of consumption. Are they doing reporting? It's not just about moving the data, it's also shaping and doing the pipeline and so on. Today, still a lot of companies are struggling with their on-premise cluster because it's really hard to just remove it from the equation. So the present, 2021, the rise of data tools. A lot of challenge of big data have been solved by the big cloud provider, managing servers and cluster, hardware, so robust and cheap storage solved, scaling your data engineering team, well, it's really hard. Doing parallel computing, well, almost solved. Some tools will abstract it completely from you, like a cloud data warehouse like Firebolt or BigQuery, but you need to understand what's happening behind the scene in case of debugging or complex pipeline. We are often talking about the modern data stack because basically you can get way far faster than it used to be so data start to be democratized and part of a life. Whether it's checking the number of likes over the time on a Facebook page or the views on a video, it's kind of natural for us to go to an analytic section in an app and consume data and make decisions based on that. Or spending a crazy amount of time on cryptograph just to see when the dips are coming. So who are the data engineers of today? Well, the roles again are splitting even more. We have the analytics engineer which is leveraging the cloud data warehouse and focusing on SQL pipeline. We have the machine learning engineer, which is working on the life cycle of machine learning, so from tuning to deployment. And then we have the data engineer, which is basically doing everything else. On a serious note, it can be really broad and it's heavily depending on your data maturity of your company. But roughly speaking, it's mostly focusing on platform, data platform, because as I was saying, scaling your data engineering team is hard. So we are really looking to democratize data engineering pipeline to help other people to make their own pipeline. So rather to say, hey, give me that pipeline, I'm going to do it for you. You just say, hey, here is the tool. You can do it yourself. It's magic. Yes, lowering the technical barrier to entry for other type of user in the company, like data analysts or data scientists, is one of the main challenge of the data engineer today. All right, so what's coming in the future? Five to 10 years from now, a lot of more people will be able to do their data pipeline themselves. They will need even less technical knowledge, but also I think that the general technical knowledge will organically grow. There will be a boom of SaaS products, not only coming from the big cloud provider, solving a really specific data problem. In the same line that you don't ask anymore the IT guy to write an email, you do your own data plumbering. So, will the job disappear? Uh-uh, uh-uh, no, uh-uh, no, 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 no. There will be even more complex challenge, so we still will need data engineers to work on those specific topics. People will be more concerned about the data privacy so the company will be, and that will give even more challenge for data engineers. Data engineering will be common practice. I see also marketplace of data really pop up and coming a standard. Who knows? Amazon start with books. Maybe tomorrow they will sell data set. There's already marketplace to share data, but not really more in e-commerce fashion way. Who will be the data engineer in the future? Well, I believe the role will spread even more, but it will not be centralized as it used to be. So meaning every team will have their own data engineers to do common tasks, but also to do specific tasks. So like you would have today for a specific product, the backend, frontend, you will have also your data engineer because it will be really as common to have a data products focus. Bottom line is, if you're a data engineer, be ready for change because it's already happening. All right, it's time to wrap up. Thanks again for watching. Don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel or follow me on LinkedIn or Medium for written content. Links in the description. And may the data be with you.